Hey everybody, welcome in. Guess who I have today? I have the most amazing mother one person could ever ask for. This is my mother, Mary, and many of you have asked over and over and over if I could introduce you to my lovely mother. So here she is. This is Mary Adams. And I'm here, the one that likes to stay incognito. Yes, so I kind of forced her into this, um, but we're going to make it fun and we're going to make it entertaining. So the only reason why she agreed to do this was because we had a wonderful lunch and we talked about a couple things and then I asked her if she would be willing to bring on some pieces that I made for her over the years. So that's the only way I got her on here. And uh, here she is. And I would love for all of you in the comments to uh, ask, you know, when this airs to ask any questions, if we miss anything, and we'll address that. But um, I don't want to take up all the air time. So my mom has been a registered nurse for over 25 years and always a resident of Ohio. Always a resident of Ohio. And um, she gave birth to me in 1974. And then do you want to give them any sort of, because well, they always I, ask about me? I can say this. I took a long break to raise the kids before I went back into a um, uh, school of nursing and went back and took a refresher course. And did another five years. So I did five years before the kids, five years after the kids were kind of like settled uh, as teenagers, and another 15 years with a doctor's office after that. And it was kind of nice to stay in touch with people. And uh, instead of always being, oh, you're Ron's wife. Oh, you're Jason's mom. Oh, you're Matt's mom. I didn't have an identity. That's why I kind of went back. Um, but I think the reason why I'm here is to show you what Jason has learned and done. Um, I think from the time he was in fourth grade, I noticed something different and I sent him to a, a local college to take a little art class as a fourth grader, which he absolutely hated because they had no air conditioning and it was 90 degrees. <laughs> but um, he got through it, he made a lot of items, he only went once a week for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And it gave him the basis of where I know he was gonna grow and be different. And, um, do you want to, not to interrupt, but do you want to touch on the different thing? Because I think it's important for people to understand that I think why I came on YouTube, part of the reason was to fit in, um, but I never felt like I fit in. But you had mentioned maybe around fourth grade, you noticed? Fourth grade, like, he, was, he had an art talent that was starting to blossom, and I just go for what makes you happy. When he went away to college, um, he told me, I thought he was going to go into teaching, and he did not. He said, oh, no, 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 no. And he went strictly into the art history, mm -hmm. the metal smithing, metal smithing, the photography, mm -hmm. which he did really well at. And um, I knew he wasn't going to be a teacher, but there's that teacher background that's always with somebody that wants to share information. I like that he likes to share. And I think being on YouTube is a way of sharing with a lot of people, bulk is the way of putting it. Mm -hmm. And I think Tanya's pushing and telling him, go for it, helped. I think yeah. Thelma having him on helped a great deal. I appreciate yeah. the people that um, are really uh, helpful into subscribing and watching him. So mm -hmm. I think today we're going to do what he's made for me, because yeah. that's where I'm very comfortable with. Yeah, so we'll start with the simple ones um, first. So these are, um, they are um, art glass beads that I had acquired over the years. And then I just constructed these soldered and very simple chains, because she wanted simple. She's not real fancy or over the top. She's always been conservative with the things she's worn. Yeah. So she liked the black polka dotted one. She thought that was really cool. She thought was that was fantastic. Here, we'll take the camera down. Let's do that. Okay. Is yeah, that better? Can see better? And then that way, we're not looking at us and we're looking at the stuff. Yes. So there's that. And uh, just simple construction, sterling silver, my classic shepherd hook construction there, so all hand fabricated, nothing bought or purchased, um, but those were very um, early works of mine, very simple, just wearability, you know, and fashionable, right, Mom? Very would much you consider so. just easy, fashion? Easy to wear. Easy to wear, and then she would sometimes layer them together. So that was some of the earliest pieces. And then you remember this, this one you can tell them too, because oh. this means a lot to us and, uh, this was very important. This is when 9-11 occurred and Jason felt like he needed to do something. Um, when the chips are down, he feels he, like he has to find a solution. 
So he made these pins, and um, I took him into work at the time, mm -hmm. and he took them to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. They could donate what they wanted to for the pin, and all yep. the money went to the 9-11 victims. Yeah. So it was 9-11, uh, it was the attack on America. Still makes me and my mom emotional. But um, they're simple, but uh, they meant a lot. And uh, I think I raised over $900 just out of these little mm -hmm. wooden pins. And I didn't know what to do because I didn't sleep for days. And so this is what I figured out a that heart. I could I could do. Yeah, a heart is in the center. Yep, the little mm -hmm. rhinestone heart. And then I stamped the blue on the silver, hand-painted. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. simple. You know, and if my teacher saw a glued-on pin back, I would have been let go out of school, but yeah. it didn't matter. They were quick, and I made hundreds of them. So that was that. And then this pearl one and tourmaline, you love tourmaline stuff, don't you? You still do. Oh, I love tourmaline. Yeah, tourmaline I think it just, um, and pearl. goes with everything. And then sterling and triple strand. And again, she loved that one, but simple beading. We would go to gem shows all the time, and antique shows all the time. So those were just crafted items. And then do you want to go to this one and this one? Would yes, that make this, sense? This was the ring was a very okay, early so do, one that he yep. did. So this is um, yep. A and natural that, now pearl. he would probably criticize it. I would. I would. <laughs> she knows me. I uh -huh. would criticize it. A simple shank soldered to a bezel, and I think this was maybe my second semester at school or first yeah, semester yeah. at school. Yeah, very well, early. yeah, it was very early on, and then I bezel set this. But what is difficult is undulating the bezel to fit an irregular pearl. So that was a challenge. And uh, I was always a stickler for craft. I was always very much so staunch on mm -hmm, craft. Mm -hmm. So I'm there's that one. I'm surprised he actually let me have it. Oh, yeah. Actually. <laughs> right. I mean, there were so many that I would say, nope, you can't have it because it's not right. And then this one's pretty great. This one's really neat. It's a tourmaline. Tourmaline yeah. crystal. And then, is that an amethyst? Yeah, amethyst and then a pearl, right? Mm -hmm. So I liked that lavalier style. Remember, like we way did. early we, on? Early yeah. on. Like old of... antique style. So I don't want to put my hand like that. I hate that. Well, I dislike that. I shouldn't say hate. Uh, there's tourmaline and then an amethyst and a bezel and then a pearl. So just again, about the stone more than the metal, you know, in this in this uh, mm -hmm. infancy of my work. Then should um, we go to well, oh, yeah, this go one at the same time that you did the pearl one, Yeah, Jay. yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So she's right. The tourmaline. So, and so yep. then he went into pearls for me. Aquamarine was... on this, silver and then cultured pearl. Uh, discs in purple and blue. So again, I don't know why this is so dark right now. Here, let's l lighten this up a little bit. Let's get the light up here. There we go. Let's drop this down. Give me one sec, guys. There we go. Now, I think we might have better light. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Now we got better lighting. Now we can see. So um, there you go. So pearl, amethyst, and aquamarine, triple strand, and just kind of a bought finding on that one. We bought that at a gem show. So just fashionable again, because she's like, can you make me a beaded, you know, three strand? And I'm like, I sure can. Mm -hmm. And then we got into the more conceptual work, which oh. were these. And then, well, all started with those two. And then Jeremy and me, do you want to go to the ones that I did first? And then, oh. no, we'll save this one for last. We'll set this one out. And then maybe right. we'll go with this one. That one. How about mm -hmm. this one? Okay. So um, this one is Ohio Flint. And let me take my ring off. This one's Ohio Flint. Remember this one? And when did, how long ago? This has been quite a while. Yeah. It's a, at least a dozen years or okay. so. Okay. So 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. But Ohio Flint and uh, Sterling Silver, serrated bezel. And then um, I never really signed my work. Uh, I, I just didn't. I didn't feel it appropriate. So I soldered the jump rings on and then a step down bail and then a jump ring at the top. But it was all, again, it was all about the stone for her. She said, I love this stone. I want this Ohio Flint set, set as a pendant and do something special with it. So that's what I came up with. But again, just to make it wearable and quick. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top, and no concept. You know, just clean lines. It was okay. Yeah. yeah clean lines and then, and then of um, course you had to step it up then I, yeah and then she reminds me that I stepped it up on this and wiped this one off thanks so much for doing so, this uh, this one was a pin that he made uh, to benefit autism mm -hmm. and it was at a person's house and he was he Oops. made these and he sold these this is extremely special because that's when he started to design the back for me to be very special and different mm -hmm. I don't know if you can show the back Hello. Um, it might be a little bit harder yeah. to see. It says love. Mm -hmm. and, and I um, sawed it out with a little heart. Yeah. And the whole thing is, for a benefit like that, I mean, um, who 
who could go wrong? And the, yeah. the people were so appreciative. Yeah, they really were. That was in Cleveland. And then this is the infinity symbol. So I made this out of sterling wire. So that means infinity. So it means love forever. So there's love and forever. Um, and then the stone is amazing because we bought that together. Mm -hmm. And that's Dr. Imor uh, uh, Imori stone. I-M-O-R-I. Dr. Imori, and it's also called Victoria Stone. But doesn't it look like a lightning bolt? Remember how we always like, felt? So, yeah, because yeah. the way the light moves through the stone. And I wish it, oh, there we go. Look at that. See, see Mom, now I got it. Now you got Look it. at that. So now you can see that kind of lightning bolt that goes across the sky. Much better. Yeah, fantastic. So there you mm -hmm. go. And my dirty hands, because <laughs> I'm always so dirty. Mm -hmm. All right, and then... Um, Let's go with, um, what about this guy? I think we should Why do we this leave one? this one out? This is very special, too. You have to see the design of the back also. Um, because he went way overboard in designing the back. Mm -hmm. And then so we bought the frog. <laughs> and it's, yeah, we bought the frog. And it's fossilized oh. ivory. And so no one. animal was ever harmed in that. Because we don't believe in, well, me and my mom don't believe in certain things. Because we love animals. So well, there's um, for some reason I got into frogs. Yeah, fossilized <laughs> ivory, and then the dragonflies I made out of sterling, and then I forget the stone that I put in there. I did um, I don't remember. I don't remember what that is. Is that enamel? Might be enameling. So I haven't seen these things for such a long time. And you know, I have to say for the haphazardness of this, I just wanted you to meet my mom, and that's the only way I could get her to come on here. Only uh, if I so, can show your designs. So thank you. The back is designed very yep. nicely. And then, oh, and then underneath. Complete. There you go. Swoops. And there we and go. See, the see hearts. how the hearts come through. And then the line, I kind of remember I matched up the line of the leaf mm -hmm. with like the center of the hearts. <laughs> so that was like, see how I lined up where the hearts were to follow where that leaf was carved. So there was always a reason. And then this was kind of formed as a leaf. And then I, oh, I remember we put the little hematite stones on. There's a hematite, there's, okay. there's another one, and there's another one. So, but yeah, I, you know, completely hand fabricated, nothing cast there, but again, something that you loved this, you wore this. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, remember. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, and then a, a, another kind of double step down rather than a single, because then it would flip and turn and be weird. So I always thought about the design of something when I made something, and sizable. I'm surprised you wore this, though, because it's so big, you know, and so kind of over the top. I wore it like you would wear a cameo on the top of a blouse. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we've got just a couple more, so we'll leave um, this one. Let's do this one. I think one. this one. Okay, let's, oh, and so here, some people have asked, do I draw things out and lay out designs? And the answer is yes. So there is the, this so is there is, there we go. So there's this, and it goes to this. So there we go. So you kind of see the size and everything and then how I lay things out and then the end result. And sometimes I do alter things quite drastically. Like I was going to put a pendant on the bottom of this and then I just didn't. I, I didn't like that. I liked the two parts. So I kind of stopped there. So she keeps my sketches with the items. And then this one, um, I don't know if you want to read that, but this was a, a letter that I wrote to her and it was about the history that stretched before us uh, and that it, commem it this commemorated... Um, her to me as my true universal mother, uh, you're symbolically represented. Um, and then it just, it, it was about whimsical love. Uh, and it was just a whole story that I wrote to her double sided. And that was never really supposed to be, never really supposed to be given to her, but I did because I wanted her to see what I was thinking. And then this one, um, my grandfather, my mom's father, Frank, mm -hmm. um, he, as I've talked to you guys before, I, uh, he was, he came over from Yugoslavia and um, he was a, a coal miner in Pennsylvania. And um, I, I've told you guys about him before. And so he was a woodworker. So I had a, uh, it was Tim at the time. Remember my yeah. friend Tim? Okay. So my friend Tim at the time made this uh, checkerboard stone inlay. And then we selected, me and my mother selected this beautiful turquoise stone from a gem show. And then I set this on one side and this on the other, which was very difficult because there's a central bezel right there that's shared by both stones. <laughs> and then uh, the three raindrops graduated and the fourth and then a fifth where the uh, step down to bail comes in. Um, so there's that. And didn't you love this like oh, the most? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I wore this a tremendous amount oh, and I, of times. I forgot. Yeah. Can I show them? The inscription you okay with that yeah, yeah, so okay. it just says in loving memory of frank resnick jma 122507 so i made this in 07 and 
you know, I was kind of joking my mom with my mom before I went on here and I said, did I come, you know, out of the womb arc welding? <laughs> I just was constantly in the metals. It was just my frame of mind as a child. Um, and uh, this one was made in 2007. But you can see on the the inlaid wood on this side and then the turquoise on that side. And I loved the juxtaposition, you know, man-made mother nature. Uh, and they, they sung. They had a conversation and a story. It just was beautiful. And the craft, uh, I was a stickler for bezels. I was a stickler for metal finish at that time. And uh, then she just put it on uh, this beautiful snake chain. So there you go. There's that one. Do you want to say anything else about Well, that I think one? the most important thing is um, that early in life, uh, my family felt the same way as my dad was a very hard worker. It took my, um, his father, which would have been my um, uh, grandfather, it took him three years to get his family over here, to get the five kids over here into uh, Pennsylvania. Came in through Ellis Island, uh, probably the year about 1927. Mm -hmm. But I always looked up to a person that worked hard. Uh, he worked in a coal mine. He was injured. He had a severe injury, almost lost his arm, but they were able to uh, save it and um, went through a lot with that. Came into Cleveland. That's where he met my mom, Jason's grandmother, mm -hmm. and uh, were married here and started a family here. But I think where Jason gets the work ethics is that he knew his grandparents were tired. He knew his parents were tirelessly hard. Um, and I think that's the way that we grew up, is that nothing was impossible. Persistence was our goal in life, is mm -hmm. to have happiness mm -hmm. and fun, mm -hmm. but to work hard. Mm -hmm. That's how you achieve things in life. And I think some of that sometimes gets lost in some of the generations. Mm -hmm. But I feel now, I see a lot of 20-year-olds, if my husband and I are out, and he has his Army veteran hat on, baseball hat, and I see a lot of 20-some-year-olds coming up to him and thanking him mm -hmm. for our freedom. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking they get it. Mm -hmm. The next generation has gotten it. I think you're right. I think you're right. And I think things like 9-11 uh, need to be a constant reminder to us today. Because we, when this happened, everyone was saying hello to each other. I love you, strangers. you know. And that only lasted for, what, a couple weeks, a month? And then everyone went right back to um, not agreeing with each other and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, a lot of unfortunate things but I think when we have reminders like this and we look back at things I think that's sometimes the most important thing that we learn from I want to ask you now that we're on that I want to ask you about my jobs like can you tell them about oh, wow. like how many different jobs I've had <laughs> uh, I mean like because you know I'm thinking about how many jobs I quit the same day I started <laughs> and then I came home the one day on break and you were like what are you doing and I'm like I quit <laughs> Um, he worked half a day at a place. Yeah, and, um, but, they, yeah. It was a temporary agency. Yeah. And um, he said, I can't work at that oil company. Yeah, no. and so he goes in there, and he comes out in a half a day. He calls me, because at the time, <laughs> he wasn't driving yet. And he calls me, and I went to get him. And he was covered with yeah, oil from yeah. head to toe. So we bad threw, we threw my clothes away. We threw everything out. And I said, well, I guess you're not going to work no. at that temp anymore. And then also, I don't want to interrupt, but then how I, I guess like I, I want them to know like from infancy how um, I was of like almost being that impossible kid of like, and I know it's impossible because you lived it and you stuck with me and you were kind and caring, but algebra in high school. You know, I went in, I fought with the teacher. I didn't like her. And I told you. I'm going to fail the class. And I had to go yeah. to summer school. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I was a staunch child. I, I was impossible at times. Well, the teacher was not an easy one to get along with. <laughs> no. And I knew that. And I said, well, if you fail the class, that means you have to go to summer school. <laughs> not only that, is you have to pay for summer school. Yeah. So, I mean, that's yeah. a tough lesson to learn. And that was very hard for a, a mother to want to do that to yeah. a child. I learned. But he wasn't a child. He was a teenager no. at the time. So when he did go to summer school, he went to a school that was tougher than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And he got probably the most difficult algebra teacher you could find, and guess what? He came out with an A. Mm -hmm. So it told you, it told me then at a young age that um, it, it's, it's okay to stand up for yourself. Uh, he did that. Um, he worked at a veterinarian clinic when mm -hmm. he was 15. Mm -hmm. uh, that was after he worked for a, oh, I won't say the name of the grocery oh, yeah. store. 
Um, he went for yeah. a grocery store in the meat department, and now he became a, you know, right after that he was a vegetarian. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. the worst part about it is um, he found another job working for the, to work for the vet, and they said, we need you right now. And he came home, and he said, oh, they said they'll take me right now. And I said, I'm sorry, you have to give a two-week notice to the grocery store. Yeah, but you raised me right. You and know? Um, you raised I me said, that's the do. only thing fair to do, mm -hmm. and, he, and he gave the two-week notice, and... Um, they were quite uh, beside themselves that he quit because yep. he was a good worker. Yeah. So he worked for the vet, mm -hmm. went away to college, mm -hmm. came out of college, worked for another vet for, what, 17 years. Yeah. So he's very much into animal rescue, and um, that's a really good thing. Yeah. So we're going to go on this one, and then we're going to kind of call it quits because I think we've covered most okay. everything. Uh, smoky Quartz. And look at the little coffee bean on there. And everybody knows that Jeremy has a coffee trailer. Mm -hmm. So Jeremy said to me, and he came to me and he said, can we make your mom a necklace for Christmas? And I said, yes, what stone do you want? And he said, smoky quartz. And I said, how big do you want it? And he's like, this big, <laughs> this big. And I said, what do you want on it? I want a coffee bean on it. So we made a sterling silver mm -hmm. coffee bean and we cut that out of flat sheet. And then we cut it out and we soldered it down to another piece. And so it's a sterling silver coffee bean right there and and a smoky quartz pendant and she just was she loves it because oh, yeah. it's me and jeremy and one pendant you know so there you go on that one so okay. love that jeremy's, and then, jeremy's mom is gonna have to have one yeah and jeremy's mom's gonna need one. Thing oh wait wait wait, wait let's go let's go up um, a little I don't bit know there if we you go can see this um he was at a benefit uh of course he did another benefit i can't say which yeah, well, let's, I can't say yeah, let's not. <laughs> uh, but it was affiliated a little bit with the yeah. University of Akron. Okay, yeah, uh, that's we can all go I there. Can say. <laughs> but anyway, um, when we were at the benefit, and he had set up there, and he had tables, and I walked downstairs, and I found these two. Um, mm -hmm. What do they call I Jay's forget that stuff? it's um, not Tiger. Uh, Eye. Wait, it's in the Tiger Eye family. Is it Maramamba? Yes. Yeah, Maramamba. Yeah. There we go. So I found that he said, "Go pick out two. I picked out two stones. Uh -huh. Well, he went that night. And I came he, home that night. Yep. And the next day we were supposed to come back to right, the same right. benefit. Yep. And he had made this overnight. <laughs> I did. And I was just like so amazed that he could put yeah. something together. And it's, um, that... Bez yeah, yep, that quick. Bezel set. And then I did put designs on the back. And these were our astrological signs. Yeah. So yeah, that they, one is. Yeah. Movie. Well, we'll take it off the next time. So that yeah. one, yeah, don't take it off. She wore it today and she loves it. But this one is um, her sign, I think. And then this one is. My sign. Yep, this is Capricorn, and then she's Aquarius. So Capricorn and Aquarius. So I put the layout of the stars in dots and then lines, and then mm -hmm. I also did the, um, the the actual sign. I script signed it. And then uh, Sterling Silver um, a Boomerang, very modern, you know, very reminiscent of the 50s, and then a Sterling Silver Bar, and then uh, a chain that she loved. So, um, but very sizable for her, but she loved it. And I was like, yes, I got it. Mm -hmm. Now, the last few things, and then we're going to let everyone go for oh, the day. This. So, yeah. yeah. So this was the final one. And I had mentioned this before. And I'll show you where this came from. So this was the ring that I um, made when Onyx passed away, my black lab. And this is all chipped up and scratched up. It's an old crystal. And I bezel set it. And I wore this all the time. That was when Onyx, his uh, first yeah. rescue dog. Yeah. When Onyx passed away. Uh, and he was my first rescue dog. And he left an imprint on our hearts like like any dog does uh, and dogs uh, are very special in my life and cats as well and then this is Zito's fur underneath um, an old Czechoslovakian stone and then I soldered these jump rings around it and then I made the compartment and Zito's fur is underneath that crystal so I made these as two compartments and then the band uh, for infinity and forever so there's the Zito ring um, and it was, uh, just like Zito wasn't perfect, this ring isn't perfect, and I didn't fight with it because it wasn't supposed to be slightly out of uh, rectangle, but Zito's ear was, he was a, a Bull Terrier rescue, and his ear wasn't perfect, but he was perfect to me. Uh, that dog was the most perfect thing that had ever happened to me. And, and that then, was actually Grammy's dog. Yeah, that was my mom's, uh, my mom just loved that dog, and he loved her. And then this is the one I made for my mother. So this is Dempsey's fur. Dempsey was a West Highland White Terrier, uh, and she inherited him from my brother um, because he couldn't keep the dog anymore because he moved. Uh, and there's the Lucite orb, and there's the bezel that goes around it. The construction is all sterling silver, so everything you see here I made. The tubular step-down bale, which I'm known for. So it's a piece of tubing and then a wire. 
comes down to this compartment that holds the hair, the fur, and then on the back, the back that's is, the design. Yeah, just beautiful. that's the design I did for her. So this is all pierced out by hand um, with a saw, a tiny little jeweler saw, and then that that flat sheet is then soldered down to another flat sheet that is the back of the compartment. So you can kind of see that the whole thing is soldered together and then oxidized, and then the fur is underneath the crystal. And when she wears it, she gets so many people to ask what kind of gemstone it is, because look at the way that kind of vortex mm -hmm. of energy happens. Um, and when something happens in our life so sad like this, and I can turn it into something this beautiful, I feel like we can conquer death. I just have always felt that with the memento of our loved ones, there's just something that keeping that with us, there's a beauty in remembering and never forgetting. And um, look at the way that bends the light. It's almost like the skies of heaven. I'm not really sure how else to describe it, but I, I loved the opticalness of that. And then that was my little... My little piece of beauty for her, the wearer. No one else sees this. This mm -hmm. was only for her to see and for her to remember her cherished dog who gave her so many years of happiness and my dad as well. So if you hear the TV on in the background, that is my father vegging out, having a great old time watching mm -hmm. TV. And Jeremy, and big Jeremy, his buddy Jeremy is watching TV with him in the back room. So uh, they, well, I'm sure Jeremy is sleeping by this point. <laughs> Bears sleep, <laughs> and I'm sure my dad is probably watching Jeremy sleep at this point. But there you go. Mm. So that is Dempsey's fur, and then I guess we'll leave it there. But I think for the next one, I had so many other things I wanted to talk with you about, but I didn't want to get too personal. Do you want to say anything else? Like, do you feel that? Um, um, do you feel that uh, this YouTube thing for me is it? What do you feel about it? How do you feel about me being on well, YouTube? Do you love it? I think it's good for him because he has the opportunity to teach now where he mm -hmm. never did before. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, he's one that shares. There's a lot of people that have knowledge, they don't share it. Mm -hmm. They won't tell you if there's something good or something mm -hmm. bad. They won't tell you yeah. about stones or items. Right. Right. Um, they just keep it to themselves like, and they think they um, are a better authority that way. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think yeah. you need to share. Uh, I think you need to teach. And I think life gets better when you do that because um, people appreciate that. And I think that's one thing that he's always done, uh, which is a good thing. So I'm glad he followed his passion. Um, mm -hmm. In a way, he did become a teacher. Yeah. So he does well, his artwork and um, yeah. and goes forward. I think that sums it thing. up. And um, I'm so glad that you came on with me. And I just have to tell you that I've had so many blessings in my life. Uh, but you're the biggest and the best. And I love you for it. And, um, yeah, I have such a, a positive feeling that I'd love to come on again with you if you would down the road. I know it's uncomfortable, um, but if you would down the road, just come on with me and let's just have a chit chat someday. That sounds good. Okay. Great. See, okay. there we go. That was just that easy. Um, and then I'm going to put this up soon. I don't know what day it will air, but, um, thank you so much for coming um, on. And you know what, you guys, you know how I always end this. I love you guys so much. You've changed the way I feel and you've made her extremely happy because now her son that struggled to be accepted for so long is now being admired and trusted and accepted and she's been very happy with it every day I've talked with her about it um, but getting her on was such the challenge but now that you did it are you happy yeah see now that she did it she's happy so all right thank you everybody yeah it was a good time yeah thank there you. we go thank you all so much we love you bye. we love you we love you bye love